Valentine's Day is literally just round the corner, which means now is the perfect time to start creating Valentine's Day books. So, we're now about three months out until Valentine's, which means now is the most perfect time to start creating your books. You have enough time to do research, you have enough time to start creating the books, and then to publish the books as well. So because of this, I'm going to share a bunch of different Valentine's Day niches that you can dive deeper into. Now, last week, I do believe I did another video all about Valentine's Day niches, and if you'd like to see that video, I'll link it right there, right now, in the right-hand corner. Now, before the video, I just want to give you a quick side note, and that is about the LCB Vault. This is our main course all about low-content book publishing, and come Friday, we're going to be having a two-week Black Friday sale which is going to be absolutely ridiculous. So, if you've been interested in the vault, keep your eyes and ears open, ready for Monday. Now, let's crack on with the video and get stuck right in. Now, the first niche that I want to share with you is Valentine's Day, or Valentine's Dot Maker Activity Books. Now, with any of these niches which I'm about to share, always remember to dive deeper. Now, with all of these niches, they have actually already been selling. If we take a look at this one, this has had three sales over the last 30 days, but this is the Valentine's Day Dot Markers Activity Book. Now, if we take a look at this, let's just go to both images and take a look at the back, we can see what this looks like. And it's not as complicated as you may think. So for dot markers activity books, we can see on here on the back that they have their images. So this is what the kids would color in. But then there's just circles overlaying on top of the images. Now, if you already have your color in images, this would be very simple to create. And you could even do this within Canva just by grabbing circles, the outline of a circle, and placing them on the page. But that's the first niche which I wanted to share. Always remember to dive deeper as well. And remember, because Valentine's Day is still three months out, you're going to get different search terms up here than what you would in a couple of months from now because the search bar is always changing and evolving but again that's the first one being valentine's dot marker activity books now the second one being valentine's color by numbers now with color by number books this is a very popular niche. Now, if we take a look at this one, this doesn't say Valentine's Day on it, because I'm going to give you a top tip, and that top tip is creating your books around love. So instead of just targeting Valentine's, if you target love, you have the potential to make sales all year round. Now, this month, this book has already made 12 sales. And again, this is love instead of Valentine's. But a Valentine's Colour by Number book would do extremely well. Now, again, if we take a look on the back of these, we can see not much. So let's, in fact, go to the inside, just so we can take a quick look on the interior, so you can see what it looks like. Now, with Colour by Numbers, it's exactly that. It's colour by numbers. So we can't actually see inside this, but if we take a look on the cover, certain numbers are going to be used with certain colours. So right here, number one is yellow, two is blue, three is green. And then on the imagery with inside the book, there's a number allocated to that part of the drawing which you colour in with that colour. So again, these are actually very simple to do, and once you have created your colouring book interior, you can even do this in Canva, go through and add numbers to each part of the imagery. But that's the second one, which I want you to come and check out, and that's Valentine's Colour by Numbers. The third one, which I want to share, not technically a low content book, but they do sell extremely well. And that's Valentine's Day 
story books. Now, if we scroll through here, I haven't got an individual one open, but if we take a through look, we can see all of these different types of stories. Now, story books is something that I still want to get into. I haven't got into it yet, but there's so much potential with actually creating stories for young kids. Now, look at this one. There's the biggest Valentine ever. This is already has a BSR of around 92,000. So again, Valentine's Day or Valentine's storybooks tend to sell extremely well. But with these, there's going to be a lot of time and effort actually that goes into creating one of these books. It's not as easy as creating a real low content book. But like I always say, the easier it is to create a book, the more competition that there's going to be. How hard is it to actually come up with a story, come up with characters, come up with the graphics, put the book together and actually go and sell it here on KDP? Well, that's a lot harder than creating a line journal. So there's going to be a lot less competition. But that's the third one which I wanted to share. And that's Valentine's Day story books. The fifth one being word search books. So Valentine's word search books. If we take a look at this one, this has already sold three over the last 30 days. Now these would be relatively easy to create. The whole book is going to be around Valentine's. So if you want to create a Valentine's Day word search, then you're going to have to do some research, lots of research into all words related to love. And Valentine's and then you can create your word search book around that so be sure to come and check out Valentine's Day word search books as well couldn't get my words out there so that's the fourth one the fifth and final one I've actually saved the best until last and that is coupon books or Valentine's coupon books now, the coupon book niche alone is massive. There's so many different types of coupon books that you can create. But these love coupons or Valentine's coupons sell extremely well. Now, depending on where you live, you might call it something else. Now, in the USA, they call them coupons. Here in the UK, we call them vouchers. So this is just a novelty type of gift that you can get for love, for Valentine's, for your partner. So you can do love coupon book for her or a love coupon book for him. It could be a Valentine's coupon book for her or for him. Again, you have to come and do some research and see what people are searching for. But if we take a look at these BSRs, they're actually selling pretty good already. This top one has a rank of around 17,000. This has a rank of 7,000, 200,000, 2.2 mil. But if we keep scrolling, look at this one, round about 5,000 or just under. Now these coupon books, I won't go on that one. Let's just find one. Let's see if we can go on it quickly. Let's just go on one of these so you can see quickly what the interior looks like. Now something like this can be created within Canva. Relatively easy as well. Now we can't really see that so let's go on to this one. Let's just give that a second. There we go. So we can see this coupon book is for husband. Again, I'm actually going to show you in a second, but there's so many different ways that you can target and create these coupon books around. Now, if we go to here, this looks like a blank coupon book. So this coupon is good for, and then the customer would write it in right here. So this coupon is good for one hug, one cuddle, and so forth. You kind of get the idea. And as we can see with this book just here, it's already done 12 sales this month. Now again, like I just said, this coupon book niche is absolutely huge. You can get all different types of coupons for lots of different occasions. Now let's take away that Valentine's so we can see all of these other search terms just here. Now right off the bat, we can see now remember, first, this is what people are searching for. So we can see people are looking for a coupon book for him. Kids, her, boyfriend, gift, 
mum, husband, dad. And if we come over to here, we can see couples, mum. More here, blank coupon book, boyfriend coupon book, dad, Valentine's, adult, Mother's Day. There's so many different great ideas for these types of coupon books. So out of all of these niches which I just shared, I highly suggest just dive in a little bit deeper into the coupon book niche because you're going to uncover some really, really great niches. Now, that's everything which I wanted to share. Let's have a quick recap of these niches. Now, the first one being Valentine's Dot Marker Activity Books. The second one being Valentine's Colour by Numbers. The third one being Valentine's Day Storybooks. This is going to be a huge one, but it does take a lot of time. The fourth one being Word Search Valentine's Day Books. And then the fifth and final one being Coupon Books. Now remember, you could do a Love Coupon or Valentine's. And remember, if you target Love instead of Valentine's, you have the potential to create sales all year round. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.